hello youtube this is ajay and i want to show you all how to install kali linux for this we have to open we need to download utm and it is of course free there is a site mac.utm as you can see i will provide the link in the description or you can simply google it uh, after downloading the file from utm we also need kali image which we can download from kali.org say in the bare metal we get the option for m apple m1 uh, as you scroll down you will get the option to download iso image of uh, for apple m1 that is amd64 mm, simply download the installer one uh, installer one you can use the both service as a, you can directly download or use the torrent torrent service uh, depends upon you uh, doesn't matter how you download just download the file as required as you uh, as soon as you click on it the download will begin as you you can, you can see on my screen download has begun some but uh, as i have already downloaded it i would download it again uh, we also need uh, one system file um, that is uh, provided in in the community uh, community uh, this file is very essential mm, I will I will provide the link in the description you can check it out uh, the, the here as, as you can see the QEMU R64 this file is very essential uh, it, it, it is very essential but you will definitely need it, need it you can also check the code uh, provided by him if you want to build, build the file file by yourself he has completely described how to build it uh, this person Konat, I think, is the developer of UTM. I don't know clearly, but uh, he he provides much of the solution in the community. You can also see how the driver are arranged. Uh, you have to arrange the in this format, or, or else um, the, your virtual machine will not work. Uh, simply check this and uh, arrange them. I will show. I will definitely show how to arrange them. Now I will say I start with my installation process. For this, I will simply install my. I will install UTM. Uh, you can see by simply clicking on the UTM icon, you you will get the option of UTM. You can copy it into the application folder. Uh, so simple installation on MacBook M M1. Yeah, I said I already installed. I won't install it again. Simply you can drag this down and it will get installed. Uh, so I will eject this out. As soon as I open UTM, you can see I have already installed UTM, Ubuntu, Kali, Windows. Yes, you, we can install every every image. Uh, if you guys want uh, how to install how to install Ubuntu or Windows, you can let me know. I will make video on them. Now can you click on uh, uh, can create new virtual machine and type the machine name. I will go for with the Kali test uh, and uh, change the change the style to operating system and you can select your icon uh, I will select and move to the uh, system and system section we have to select the ARM64 ARM of course and give the RAM according to your requirement and this, this one is a very important part uh, you have to first create uh, one drive of how much storage you want to provide i will go with 10 20 gb uh, if you, you you guys you, you guys can customize according to your according to your need and now you go to the import section import section and go to, and uh, the file which you have downloaded after extraction you can simply import this drive now uh, simply import. let's import this drive uh, to our virtual machine for this go to click on the import drive and browse the brow, browse the file i uh, import one by one please guys keep in mind that the order definitely matter it doesn't matter where you keep the uh, your your space drive and space drive the drive which you have created and the usb the the, the system of course the the both we have imported that that they, they matter also uh, please arrange them as i have arranged and and, and since the interface to PC system flash of both the imported drive um, as a, you, you can also check the community page uh, in which it is clearly mentioned why it is it, 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 it changed to PC system flash uh, uh, since uh, their system flash I think that that's why 
you can save the setting and continue on and continue on running the machine we, we have to also import the uh, Kali Linux IOSA file we have, which we have downloaded from the Kali.org for this click on the DVD, CD DVD drive and select the image which we have downloaded in, in my case it is on desktop so I will browse it and uh, import it to the CD DVD drive that is re re removable drive and now we can continue uh, continue to the installation process which is as usual nothing nothing that is here uh, here if your cursor doesn't work you can so doesn't work then click on the cursor lightning icon and your cursor will start working and you can also click simultaneously on the control option option control option button on your keyboard and the cursor will start now the instant and now uh, usually the installation process uh, begin uh, we will uh, we can we will continue with the default option you can select as, as according to your according to your reason now you can see the installation process has begun we will wait I give the host name of course the domain name leave it empty and you can give the what you whatever you want and give the password so simple give the password use your arrow button to come um, down down the cursor and uh, click on installation and this must be begin uh, here click on ok continue to go please go with the default uh, uh, recommended for the, the new users and the user arrow key and press and um, drag it down and click on yes and continue Here, use your space, uh, space bar key to uh, select the key XFCE, the default desktop graphic user, graphical user interface of Grad Kali, and play, use your tab button to go to the continue and hit enter. Installation process complete. As, as, as soon as we click on the continue by, by using the tab um, button, uh, it, it will restart the virtual machine. It will boot up um, very quickly. No, won't take more than 10 seconds. Uh, enter, enter the password. Use the name password which you have which you have given during the installation, and you have your Kali Linux desktop on M1 Mac for absolutely free you can exact the uh, cd drive which have, we, we have used uh, for the installation process so we have here our terminal you can, as you can see every command, command is working and even the net, net is also working totally fine with no lag I will I will quickly re restart it again so that uh, you, you guys can see the it 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 restart it start with no lags. Uh, I will close this window and start it again. Let's call the next test. It boots up within seconds. Yes, in the uh, my username and password. Login, 
as you can see after uh, even after restart it work works fine if you guys encounter any issue please please let me know i will help as much as, as i can uh, you, you you can also refer to the community if you want the community is very helpful guys i will definitely i will definitely recommend you all to refer to the community if in, if in case of any issue i hope this video is very, very useful to you please do like the video and subscribe to my channel